guys, HDB here and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. In today's video, it's quite a big topic that I have been asked quite a lot about on the streams. If you don't know, we do shiny hunting live streams on this channel every single day of the week. And a lot of questions that do pop up are about Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, because why wouldn't they? They're the brand new games coming out this year. Of course, though, because it's a shiny hunting stream, a lot of the people that come to the streams are shiny hunters. And a lot of people do want to know, will shiny Pokemon be in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? And whilst nobody knows the answer to this for certain, because they just haven't told us, there's a little bit of evidence behind both sides of the argument which may help us push in the direction of whether there will be shiny Pokemon in these games. So of course, if you guys are excited for this video, please do drop a like down below, and also let me know if you want shiny Pokemon to be in these games. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, but do you think there will be shiny Pokemon in these games? Without further ado though, guys, let's get into the video and take a look at all the evidence to suggest, will shiny Pokemon be in these games? Okay, so starting the video off and asking the first question that is on everybody's minds, will shiny Pokemon be in the games? Well, why wouldn't they? They've been in the game since Pokemon Red, Blue, and, oh yeah, Yellow. That's the kind of the first mm, moment, because these games are a retelling of Pokemon Yellow. Not necessarily a remake, but because they are based on these games, there's a lot of similarities between Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. For example, you start with a Pikachu, or you start with an Eevee, which were the starter Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow. Obviously, you always had the option of Pikachu, but in these games, you got the option of, P of Eevee. Of course, all the starter Pokemon are in the same places as well, uh, where obviously you get Charmander just above Cerulean, you get Bulbasaur in Cerulean, and then you get Squirtle in Vermilion. They're all there as like a little Easter egg, and obviously they were there in Yellow, because you could get all the starter Pokemon plus Pikachu. And there's just loads of similarities between the two games. So, would that really push the developers to be like, okay, since we're trying to make the retelling of Yellow, should we put Shiny Pokemon in the games? I don't know why they wouldn't personally, because Pokemon obviously has loads of different aspects. They have trading, battling, completing the Pokedex, everything like that. Shiny hunting has become one of the biggest features of a Pokemon game, and they know this, which is why they pretty much introduce a new method of doing so in like every single game. We got chain fishing, horde hunting, dex naving, SOSing, soft resetting, everything like that. You can count so many different methods, and they know that it's because the fan term shiny Pokemon is you know, it's a fan term. They, they didn't make that up. They took it from the fans. The fans came up with shiny Pokemon. They took it. So it's kind of like they know that shiny Pokemon are really big in these games. So why wouldn't they include them? Well, yes, they are a retelling of Yellow, but as all the remakes have been, like Emerald or Crystal or Platinum, they've all had, you know, the shiny Pokemon in the game. So why would they just randomly stop? Especially on the Switch as well. It would upset a lot of people if you know, shiny Pokemon were not in these games. Another reason why they most likely will be in the game is because we have shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. That's been a huge thing in the games now. A lot of people love going for shinies. And over the course of the time that since we knew about Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go Eevee, more and more Kanto shiny Pokemon are coming out in Pokemon Go. We're having like water events and fossil events. Something like that, we're getting shiny Kabuto, shiny Amistar, shiny Shelda, uh, shiny, I don't even know, but shiny, like getting all the community days as well with all the star Pokemon with the Kanto. We're getting Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander. We're getting shiny, we got shiny Pikachu, we got shiny Dratini. We got, we're getting shiny Eevee very soon. We're getting, uh, I don't even know, but there's a lot of Kanto shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go, uh, in Pokemon Go. And as we know, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee only has the first 151 original Pokemon. Um, so it's kind of making sense that they're making all these shiny Pokemon in Kanto ready to trade into Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go Eevee. Not only that, the Alolan Pokemon are also in Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go Eevee. And Alolan Raichu and Alolan Marowak have just come out in raid battles literally today or yesterday. And there's a shiny Alolan Raichu. I'm pretty sure that's been confirmed now. So why are they making Alolan Pokemon and so many of the first 151 Pokemon shinies? Like I said, we're getting the shiny legendaries as well, such as shiny Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, with these special days. Well, we haven't been, we haven't got shiny Moltres yet, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get it because we've got shiny Articuno and shiny Zapdos day is tomorrow, so it only makes sense. So the fact that they're making all these shiny Pokemon in Kanto makes me believe that we're just gonna be able to trade them across. Although I have also seen reports saying that you're not going to be able to trade 
from Pokemon Go to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee event Pokemon. So the Pikachus with the different hats and sunglasses and the Squirtle with the sunglasses and the Raichus and the Pichus and everything like that. And also, you're not going to be able to trade shiny Pokemon. Now, I don't know how... Um, you know, I don't know how much confirmation this has. I, I just saw it on the internet, on Twitter and stuff like that. People have been saying that you're not allowed to trade event and shiny Pokemon over. I can get the event Pokemon part because there's probably not sprites for like Squirt with sunglasses and Pikachu with a Christmas hat and stuff like that in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But with the shiny Pokemon, I definitely could see that being a thing. Um, the only problem is we haven't really been given any footage of shiny pokemon or anything like that we've not been given any screenshots or anything like that showing that there will be shiny pokemon in these games which is definitely something that is a little bit scary because they're coming out in you know what four months we're in july right now august september october november it's coming out in four months i know they don't usually show any shinies and stuff like that but at the end of the day we kind of just want to know um because it like i say it's such a big part of the game now another reason why i'm a little bit hesitant to think that shiny pokemon are going to be in the games is because there doesn't really seem to be any methods to go for them. As we've seen in the other games, yes, they haven't really shown any methods before the game has dropped, but they've kind of been in the games. Like, with these games, we know the catching technique. We know that the only way to get Pokemon in this game is through literally walking up to them in the overworld and then just playing like you are in Pokemon Go. So I don't know if you're going to be able to chain Pokemon, I think that would be a very, very viable shiny hunting method to maybe like you can only go up to. I say you're shiny hunting a Bulbasaur uh, in Viridian Forest. If you know Bulbasaur is in Viridian Forest, uh, you find one Bulbasaur in the in the Viridian Forest. You have to beat it or whatever. You have to fight it or catch it, whatever. And then that's like a chain of one. And then you have to wait around for another Bulbasaur to appear. Then you go up to that Bulbasaur. And then that's a chain of two, and then you have to fight it or catch it, whatever. And then maybe once you get like a chain of 20, the shiny odds get better or something like that. I could definitely see that being a really, really cool way of shiny hunting. It is not really something we've seen before. Yes, there has been chaining and stuff like that in a lot of different methods, but not with like overworld sprites. I think that could be a really, really cool idea. And I guess it would be quite an easy way to shiny hunt as well, because when you just go through normal patches of grass and stuff, you don't really know what you're going to find. But if you're actually just seeing them in the overworld, you know exactly what you're going to get. You're going to run up to that Bulbasaur, you're getting a Bulbasaur. So it would be quite easy to shiny hunt. And I think as these games are a broad game for everyone, not exactly a difficult game because these games for like kids, uh, they're for like uh, teenagers, adults, every Pokemon fan everywhere. They're making the games relatively easy so they can be playable by everyone so why not introduce people into shiny hunting with a really easy method i don't see why they wouldn't do that that sounds like a really good idea to me personally uh, and i would like a new shiny hunting method i think it'd be really, really cool uh, but the only problem again is now we saw on youtube all the different walking sprites um getting released of all the different pokemon we didn't really know what they were for we just saw like all like like 700 800 pokemon all with different walking sprites and running sprites and you know, kind of jogging sprites, things like that. And we even got them for like Mega Revolutions and stuff like that, which was awesome. However, though, I, we didn't get any shiny forms of those walking sprites. We didn't get any of them. We only got the walking sprites for all the normal forms. So I don't know if they are used in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. They most likely will be because they're like 3D models. They look really, really nice. And they've probably just been like remade better for these games. But we didn't get sh any shiny um, sprites with those walking things. I'll show you the walking things on the screen right now, obviously. Um, but we didn't get any, we didn't, any shiny versions of them. So again, that's raising question marks and stuff like that is a little bit scary. And uh, also, will we be able to soft reset in these games? Because nobody knows how you soft reset on the Nintendo Switch. So will we be able to soft reset for our start Pokemon, being Pikachu or Eevee? Because as I say, we haven't been shown any variations of shininess on the start Pokemon. We've seen, we've seen gender um, differences, such as the Love Heart on Eevee's tail. And then obviously we already knew the Pikachu's uh, Love Heart on his tail. Um, but I was thinking to kind of like put everyone to ease, why couldn't they just show like a shiny Eevee or a shiny Pikachu getting like dressed up and stuff? Because that would basically confirm that nothing's going to be shiny locked in the games, most likely. And then also we'd know that shiny Pokemon are in the game. So that's definitely something that I want to see. All I really want to see is just a trailer showing that shiny Pokemon are in the game. I don't, I just want it like, it'd be difficult to, for them to not have them in the game, especially with all these shinies being in Pokemon Go. I don't understand why they wouldn't just bring that into Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But like I say, I've seen reports of people saying 
that they're not in the game, but then uh, you're not allowed to trade event and shine Pokemon over to Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go Eevee. But on the other side of the coin, I've also seen reports saying when people were playing it at E3, someone ran into a shiny Pidgey. Again, it could just be someone making up a lie, as could the first one, the event and the shiny Pokemon not being tradable. That could be a lie. People saying that they, sh they found a shiny Pidgey in uh, E3 when people were actually playing the games, that could be a lie. But I think if that was true, they would have definitely took a picture because then it would conf confirm everything. But I really don't know. But at the end of the day, they need to have shiny Pokemon in the games because if they don't, it's going to upset a lot of people. And like I say, it's one of the biggest aspects of the game now. So a lot of people have been asking me, it, will shiny Pokemon be in Let's Go PG and Let's Go Eevee? I have no idea. That This is just everything I'm going off. I'm just trying to put everything out on the table. After talking about everything, after talking about shinies and Go and a lot of 151 of the original Pokemon and getting shinies and the Alolan getting shinies, um, seeing that... You know, you might not be able to trade them across with event Pokemon and shiny Pokemon. People saying that they saw shiny Pidgeys at E3. And uh, obviously, why wouldn't they have shiny Pokemon as well in the game? Which is just the most simple ask, like question. Why wouldn't they? Because, you know, it's going to be on the Switch. Why would they put a game on the Switch and not have one of the biggest features in the game? Doesn't really make sense. And of course, the very easy chaining method as well of just running into them in the overworld and stuff like that kind of pushes me towards the idea that there will be shiny Pokemon in the game. I think it's going to be a very, very bad idea on um, Nintendo's part to not have shiny Pokemon in the games. I think it just doesn't make sense at all, because why would it? The only problem is we've just seen no confirmation. But as I say, I wouldn't worry too much about it, because we've not really ha ever had any confirmation before any other Pokemon games. We've just expected them, the shinies to be in the game. So I don't, say, I don't see why this would be any different. Uh, we just kind of have to wait until the games come out and then hopefully we see some sparkles on the screen and I can see the sparkles being a really cool thing as well a lot of people were a little bit annoyed with the sparkles in generation 7 which is fair enough I didn't mind them that much but a lot of people didn't like them at all just like the big star and then that was it I could see these games having a really really nice shiny thing just to let you know you just found a shiny especially obviously with some shinies looking relatively similar like Persian which is obviously one of the Kanto 151 Pokemon has an awful shiny sprite so the fact that it needs a big psh, you know, it would be awesome. Maybe they're even, like, remodeling some shinies, such as Gengar, because Gengar is an awful shiny. It's a shiny that everyone hates. Maybe they'll remodel some shinies for these games to make them better, because if you didn't know, all the shiny Pokemon up to, like, a certain point were just different uh, color variations. All they did was, like, slide the color variation down, and that changed the color, which is why some shinies look exactly the same, and some look, obviously, completely different. It's only been recently where they started actually making you know, putting effort into the different shinies and stuff like that. So, um, hopefully they do change them around. And then obviously when you just trade the shiny Pokemon from the old games into the new games, that shiny will just change as well. Hopefully, that's what I'm thinking. But at the end of the day, shiny Pokemon need to be in Let's Go Peach and Let's Go Eevee. It's going to be really bad if Nintendo don't put them in. I've got a lot of faith that they will be in. Like I say, it's a new game for the Switch. It's going to, I don't know if it's borderline, it's kind of like borderline Gen 7, Gen 8. But to not have one of the biggest features in a Pokemon game, it'd be crazy. It's like not having... I get that there's not like online battles and stuff and that is obviously a big feature well there is online battles but there's not like online battles against random people that's a big feature obviously but there's still online battles there's still trading everything like that there's EVs in the game I get there's not there's most likely not gonna be IVs in the game there's most likely not gonna be breeding in the game they are taking a lot of big features out but shiny Pokemon are just such a big thing and like I say we're getting shinies in Pokemon Go so why wouldn't we be able to trade them across it doesn't really make sense to me but hopefully they see their sense and they do bring shiny Pokemon into the games. That is everything from me though guys, so I really really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think, do you think there will be shiny Pokemon in these games? I'm crossing my fingers there will be, there better be, or I'm gonna be annoyed. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like down below. I remember my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, school, Patreon, can be found in the description down below as well if you want to check any of that out. That is everything from me though guys, thank you so much for watching, have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace.